I'm standing here with Garth Smith, who's the CEO and founder of uh, Meta VR. And thanks, Garth, for taking a, a second out of this. is going to be a, a busy first day here at uh, ITSEC 2010. So tell us, tell us a little bit about your company. Meta VR makes 3D visualization systems for training the warfighter. That's great. And we're a s small company, very nimble sort of software company in this market space. That's great. Tell me, uh, where, where are you from? I'm originally from West Virginia, but I'm, I work out of Boston. But our company, we're all, we all work out of our homes, actually, as small home offices. Well, that's awesome because you're doing virtual simulation and, and you're remote working. You can find the, the best employees across the country when you do that. And around the world, actually, yes. But, well, that, that's great. Yes. Hey, um, so if you would, uh, tell me a little bit about how long you guys have been in business. We've been in business since 1997. We're all PC-based uh, simulation uh, software and hardware cap capable systems, all based on Microsoft DirectX or Microsoft standards. Oh, that's excellent. Well, if you would, walk me through your demo. I got the... What we're showing you here, Ryan, is a, on the left-hand side, is, is our software right simulation that's producing very similar kind of behaviors as you're seeing on the right-hand side. And what's really interesting about what we're showing you here is on the left-hand side is our simulation. On the right-hand side is an actual video that came from Afghanistan. On the right-hand side, you hear the actual video, or I'm sorry, the actual audio coming from the pilots as they're trying to determine whether these are insurgents and what what exactly they're doing alongside the road. Uh, and let's probably go up over and up so what we've done is we've actually created in simulation, real-time simulation, the insurgent behavior of digging, digging in the road. Um, there are sort of attempts to hide in the defilade area very close to the side of the road. Switching, switching between uh, different camera views, if you will, the, the way the sensor uh, zooms in on the carrot. The insurgents. Do you see where it says a spot on the road? You hear the voice of the pilot. I think you'll notice here how hard it is to spot the insurgents. Do you see him walking over there? So, yeah. Do you hear the video where it said he just stood up? That's how we sync. That's how well we synchronize things. But if you notice how hard it is, like those are bushes, and if you see how hard it is when the bushes are hot at particular times of day to distinguish that from people on the ground. So we want to make it. The most important thing we want operators to take away from this when they go to look at the simulation is it's really hard to find the target. Oh, that's just a really amazing demo. Now, I was able to see, we were able to see this, the, you know, the insurgent come out and actually walk to the hole. Why is it so important that, that we're able to see that so closely? The idea is that the operators, as they're flying their missions, they need to be able to see very detailed behaviors of people. Like they're trying to distinguish whether somebody's farming or whether they're digging a hole for an IED. And it's really important that they discern that difference in the behaviors and so you need extremely realistic behavior down at the ground level in the simulation because it's important to avoid hitting civilian targets. It's, it's a key thing that the Army focuses on is trying not to create new insurgents by killing non-combatants. Thanks so much Garth. Everybody this is Ryan Dorn from ITSEC 2010 here in Orlando, Florida. Garth the best of luck to you at the show.